Welcome back. Today, I want to share some of my minimalist cleaning habits that help me to keep my home organized and tidy. First on my list is starting my day by making my bed and tidying my room. I find this to be extremely easy and it makes me feel accomplished right off the bat. When we are spending a lot of time at home, I notice a lot of clutter tends to catch in certain areas like this table and our couch. And I try my hardest to keep all of our flat surfaces clear. So as soon as we're done with a task, I like to try to clean it up. And that is because I find clutter tends to attract more clutter or mess attracts more mess. So I like to spend a few moments just tidying everything up throughout the day and putting it away. And that helps me towards the end of the day to have a tidy home. It's easy to get into the thought process of it's just going to come out again. So what's the point of tidying it up? But I find it really does help to keep our house more organized to put some stuff away throughout the day and not just leave it all till the end. I like to think of it as I'm doing my future self a favor so I can relax at night and not have to spend my whole evening cleaning and tidying and organizing. My boys are really good at tidying their room by the end of the night, but normally throughout the day, I just let them do whatever they want in their room. It becomes a mess and then we clean it up at night because they use their room throughout the whole day when they are home. But today I decided I would clean it up because I wanted to do a little bit of a deeper clean in here. And of course it's much easier when beds are made and the floor is tidy so I can vacuum and dust. And I just wanted to mention that my boy's room right now is looking a lot less minimalist aesthetically because I'm letting them decorate it as they want. They hang their art on the walls and they get to pick what they want to put out on their shelves, which is quite a lot, but it is still minimal because we do have limits on what we keep in here and how much we want to have of each item. I also go through this room regularly and we declutter together the things that they are no longer using. One minimalist cleaning habit I have for when I want to do a deeper clean in a room is just to do the cleaning from top to bottom and do it all at one time. So instead of trying to spread myself thin and do dusting in every room, sometimes I will just go into one room and completely clean that room so I know that room is done and I can vacuum it and go and move on to the next area. And I don't always clean every single room in a deep clean at the same time because I don't always have enough time to clean my whole house that way. But by doing one room at a time, I know it is getting clean even though it may not be all clean at the same moment. Another great way to stay minimal is to have a box that you designate for items that you want to declutter. Decluttering is not something that you do one time and you're completely done for the rest of your life. There are always things coming into our home that we realize we no longer need or the kids have grown out of, things break, or for instance, we're in a different stage of our lives. So I like to have this box where as I come across an item, I can put it into the declutter box. And then when this box fills up, I can go and drop it off at my local thrift store or decide what I need to do with the items that I've put in there. But it helps to just have this box as a reminder that I can put the items out of the way and they are ready to go. A few years ago, I changed the way I do laundry and I went to a batchwork type of system with laundry where I tried to get all of our laundry done in one day. Sometimes it creeps into the next day, but I try my hardest to get it all done on one day. And 
I know a lot of people love to do a load a day, but for me, it just felt like a never ending chore. And I like the fact that I can clean everything in one day, fold it, put it away, and we're ready for the next week to start. With becoming more minimal, we downsize the amount of towels we have, which equals less folding for me. So each of us have our own designated towels that we hang on the back of the door. And I have two that I use, and I no longer have to fold these towels. I just put them right in the bathroom, hanging on the back door. We are home a lot and we make almost every single meal at home. So I try to wash the dishes as soon as we are done eating a meal. I let them air dry as much as possible and then I dry them and put them completely away. So we are ready to start our next meal or whatever we are going to cook and we have a nice clear countertop. One habit that I recently started is to wipe down my bathroom every single day. And the main reason is having boys that are at an age now where they can do a lot of things themselves. There is quite a lot of mess and water being sprayed around. So every day I just wipe down the bathroom, wipe down the counters, and then I do a deeper clean when I have the time, which is usually at least a few times per month. We recently did some work in this room. We replaced the windows and we added a decorative wainscoting along the bottom. We're still not finished, but because we moved the rug and a lot of furniture out of this room, I always like to take advantage of an open area to do a deeper clean. So I just vacuumed the floor really well and then put the rug back where it originally was. And of course we still have to do more work in this room but I thought I would just take advantage of everything being cleared out of here to get it extra clean. And I try to finish off the night with a clean kitchen so we're ready for the next morning. With all of these minimalist cleaning habits, I'm able to keep my home nice and tidy. And of course, with having less clutter, it is so much easier to clean and dust because there are less items out and I have to move less things around to get everything clean. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.